Hey guys, Samsonite Bricks here, and today we're going to be doing a different type of video. Um, this is going to be a catalog for me that I'm going to do monthly. Uh, it's State of the Collection, and once a month I'm going to kind of look at uh, what sets or LEGO related stuff I've purchased this month. Just keep track of that as this channel grows. So first off, we're going to talk about the CMFs that I bought this month. Um, right now we're in full swing of the Lego Movie 2, uh, with the movie just coming out at the beginning of the month, and with that came the release of the CMF series. So, this is the state of the collection as of right now. Um, we're almost at the end of the month, and I have 13 out of 20 of them. Going for the full set, so, but I feel like I'm not going to have any problem tracking down the rest of them. I'm just waiting for a good time to buy, because I, I went full swing and picked up most of these at once, and I've just been kind of picking out the series leisurely afterwards, because, like, these are these are $5 a pop here in Canada, so to complete the whole set's, like, $100, and that's pretty steep to do at once, so I'm kind of breaking it up along the month. I, I can't justify buying it all at once. Anyway, so that's the first thing that I'm going to talk, that I've talked about uh, buying this month. So now we're going to look at some other things, some other small sets, and talk about poly bags. So, I've already seen the three that I reviewed earlier this week, so just put those bags down there. Uh, so I've built three LEGO Movie poly bags this month. Uh, another one that I built, built the LEGO City popcorn cart. Um, I only bought one. Uh, I haven't reached the point of owning seven, like uh, Brick Attack has yet. Uh, probably won't. Um, I liked it, but not as much as other people. So, one's one's enough for me. It's just going to go in my city. Uh, so now we're going to look at the actual sets that I bought this month. So I actually haven't bought any new sets this month. Every set I bought this month has either been from 2017 or 2018. Uh, it's just because it's we're in full swing of clearance right now at different stores in my area. So I've just been picking up some stuff I missed in the past. Uh, the first of which, and probably the best deal I've gotten this month, uh, LEGO Creator 31076 Daredevil Stunt Plane. Uh, this is a $20 set in the States, and it was 25 here. But I got this for $8. So that was the first set that I picked up this month. Uh, second set, 10761. Uh, Lego Jr.'s Incredibles The Great Home Escape. Um, I put off getting this up for a long time, just because, you know, I'm still kind of hesitant about buying Jr. sets. Um, but I, those Incredibles figures are, no pun intended, incredible. And I got this set, uh, there's a, stale, a sales sticker up there that says 32. Uh, this set retails for 30, uh, 39.99 in Canada. And they wanted $32 for it. But actually, when I rang it up, it rang up as $26. Uh, next, I'll just push these, put these out of the way, because this next one's pretty big. Um, I guess the one that I'm happiest about, because it allowed me to complete uh, a collection. You know, a lot of people probably don't care about this set, but uh, I, I certainly enjoyed building it, actually, more than I thought it would. 76087. The Flying Fox Batmobile Airlift Attack from Justice League. This was the last Justice League set I needed uh, because I'm a DC collector. And I got this for like just under 50% off. This was a good build. I know a lot of people have been dissatisfied with the Justice League you know, franchise as a whole. Uh, this was a fun set to put together actually. Uh, and now we're going to look at the last two sets. Uh, I just picked these up this week. I haven't even built them yet. I'm going to build them after shooting this video. Uh, some more Walmart clearance. 75207 Imperial Patrol Battle Pack from Solo, A Star Wars Story. Uh, this is the first, even though it's been almost a year, this is the first solo base set I've picked up. Um, not because I didn't like the movie. The movie was pretty good, actually. At least in my opinion. Um... But it's just, I uh, didn't want to pay full price for most of these. And that goes with the other one, too. I picked up 75209 Han Solo's Landspeeder. 
uh, on clearance at Walmart as well. Uh, it wasn't a good clearance particularly. These are both about 20% off. So that's been uh, my month uh, for Lego collecting. Um, you know, this video probably wasn't my most exciting one, but this is more for me uh, documenting, keeping track of the sets that I purchased every month. Um, most months are not going to be this big, of course. This was just pretty big because I found some good clearance deals. Um, but I hope nonetheless that if you uh, watched through the whole video, you enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment, uh, a positive comment, and if you did stay through the whole video and you're at this point, uh, comment below and tell me which of the five sets is your favorite. I'm curious to see if anyone has any opinion on any of these sets. Until the next time, this is Samsonite Bricks, signing off.